Welcome back to another edition of Just Right DIY. Hey, tonight uh, I've been working on a buddy of mine's uh, deck, trying to get some things figured out with it, and thought I'd show you guys a little bit about some some stuff I was working on with the uh, the railing, uh, trying to get the spindles and everything put back kind of the way they were before, kind of get the same look. I'll uh, throw up a picture here of the uh, the old deck. And the new one is going to be kind of similar, um, but we have to come up with a new way to put the posts in just because they weren't holding on as well as they should have. Granted, it had been several years, but uh, hey, I'm going to show you what we did, kind of a little trick maybe you can do too. Just, uh, just want to share something with you guys and give you maybe another idea of how to get something done on yours. So uh, let's get started on this. All right, so as you can see in the picture, what we had was the uh, these white uh, spindles that went alongside the, the deck, and we're trying to replicate that a little bit and give it a little bit more strength for future use so it lasts a little longer. Uh, three-quarter inch pipes, we got a three-quarter inch spade bit in here. Um, the rules say that you got to have them spaced every four inches. You can't have any more than four inches apart. So we just went ahead and spaced all these four inches. Um, what it is, went ahead and laid tape measure out, made marks every four inches. I went in and set a jig up here so I can just, um, on my on my uh, drill press here, so all I can do is just, I just slide this right along here and at my each mark I can go ahead and drill a spot. To speed things up even more, I only measured one of these boards. So now, so as I go along and all the rest of the boards I gotta do, I gotta do eight of these. I just used a square, um, lined up the two, lined up all the boards and made a mark on all of them so they're already all marked up so I only had to measure them one time so hopefully this will speed up and once I get all I'll show you a few of these drilled and then uh, what we do to get the next marks and the tops and bottoms put together and that'll make more sense as we go along here so here we go All right, so I, what I didn't show you just a little bit ago is we went through and ran all these 2x4s through a uh, uh, table saw and cut them off. So I got an inch and a quarter piece here, which now this is going to be for the top part of the rail. There's going to be a hand rail that goes over the top of this so the, 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 the spindles won't be able to go through or anything. This is going to be the top, and then this piece will be down at the bottom. We left this a little bit longer to get the same depth for making sure everything's secure and then the point doesn't go through or anything like that but nicely we still got all the marks and everything for every hole so we don't need to go back and remeasure anything everything will match up exactly the same way we partner all the boards together to make sure that everything lines up correctly and after I get another 150 more holes to go um, we'll be ready to go get it installed then uh, We'll show you installation tomorrow and see how it turns out. So I'm going to fast forward you and hopefully you can jump ahead with me tomorrow and we'll see you there. So here we go. Get ready for it. Here we go. Bam. Oh, oh, hey, you guys made it. Hey, so glad you made it back. I was a little worried there. Been here working for a little bit and I didn't know if you guys were going to make it back. So, hey, just wanted to let you see here. So we're getting ready to set up this bottom rail here. Um, I'm using, uh, I can't really see him in the shot there, but let me, here, let me, here, why don't you guys tip your head down a little bit. You can see the far one over there. Here, tip down. There we go. All right. So, we went ahead and spaced these out. I used the 2x4 just for spacing the bottom. We're still going to stay with that 4 inches that are down at the bottom, but we just went ahead and used the 2x4 on the side, 3.5 inches. It definitely meets our minimum 4 inches, so... We're just going to use that on the bottom. I went ahead and went to the middle of this post, and we're going ahead and space them out the rest of the way around here. This is going to be the bottom rail, and then we'll start setting up the rest of it. So we'll get this screwed in, and then I'll start showing you how we're going to measure this out and get this to work out, okay? All right, so the, that piece is that we drilled out the last night, these are the ones on the bottom that we don't have to go all the way through. So then we can just sit here and tap these in. They are a little snug, which is just fine because... Eventually, it'll dry out just a little bit. Alright, so we 
got everything all lined up, everything's pushed through. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, top rail set on the back side of here, same way we did on the bottom. Get the top one put in here. We're going to get that screwed and secured through there, so this is going to be a nice secure uh, rail for nobody to fall over or fall against. And then we can set the tops of here, uh, these posts, cut these off, and we'll put a bottom top rail on here, nice wide, uh, probably about six, five and a half, six inch uh, topper on there to have a nice handrail around the outside of the deck. So we'll show you that when it's all done. All right, so we got everything all done here. We got the cut posts, upright posts all cut off. We got the top deck on, or the top handrail on here. Everything is very, very sturdy. Um, Show and go back through here. Here's that bottom piece we had that we did not cut all the drill all the way through. Top one that stuck up underneath here. Our styles all through here. Everything matches up, looks great. All right, so this was a fairly simple project everybody could do at home. So give it a try, give it a whirl, see what you can do at home and uh, make your deck a little safer, maybe a little nicer. And uh, so hey, thanks for joining me. I just tried DIY. Go down, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, comment. Maybe I did something wrong. Tell me about it. All right, but hey, thanks a lot for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Later.